Okay. Hey, look, we've caught our new FTXL boilers here. Looking it's good. Packed. It's yeah. about time, I guess. We've heard about this now for what? Six months? It's well, here. it was announced at the Ashray Show in January. Now it's here. What is it? October? October? Yeah. Ten yeah. months. Oh, well, that's not wow. taking too long. Do you think this will replace the other one? Do you think we're going to keep the other one still? Well, we're going to keep all of them in stock. People like them. They buy them. We're just offering a new, another uh, alternative to the commercial boiler. Yeah. Well, the, the 399 was a bit of a struggle for some people to hang on a wall. This may fit some commercial applications a lot better. A lot of contractors like the floor mount model. And now we've got the commercial size fire tube design in the floor mount model. I wonder how big this thing actually is. I think they're about 32 inches wide, and the beauty of that is it's zero clearance on either side. Really? So you can stack them up. You can get about 2.5 million BTUs in about 9 feet of space. So I guess all the connections then, the supply and return and flue is out the back. They're all out the back. The gas too. Well, that makes it really nice and convenient then, especially for servicing the front of it. Looks like we have a lift-up service lid. First time I've seen that. Yeah. What's this lock and load deal? Lock and load. Lock for lock and bar? Yes. Lock and load. I don't know. Denny, you yes, know what that is? You, yes. Uh, for the new uh, interface for the smart control. Really? So we can, like, use our smartphone and talk See to this? our boiler now? And you can do it remotely through Connex. Is that on our smartphone, then? Absolutely. Hey, there we go. Technology catches up with us again. I don't have and to no come into work anymore, I can just do it on my smartphone. No matter which size you have, you're all the same size, so if you've got different size applications for the same world, the connections are in the same location, everything's in the same location for the installing contractor. Contractor can get used to that size. Yeah. Well, depends on how tall is it. We talked about the width, the 32 inches. It's We're about this, but can't be much more than this tall. Yeah, it's about 52 inches. Yeah. It's about 52, 52, 52 inches tall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like PVC a good flue venting? PVC flue venting. Just like any of the other uh, yes, it is. KBN XLs. And it is a water tube. No, it's a fire tube. Oh, that must be for FT. Fire See tube. See all this flame here? The fire? It just kind of goes down through the uh, flue passages. <laughs> That's all the fire tubes. It actually says it right here. Out. Oh, it does say that right there. How about that? <laughs> What else is on here? 98% thermal efficiency? Has anybody else got 98% thermal efficiency in the industry? No. I don't think so. Nope. Not in a fire tube or even a water tube. That's right. Water tubes are usually tube. less efficient. Our water tubes are about 96. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this has got the higher turn down rates 10 to 1 on the smaller sizes, 7 to the 1 on the larger. Mm -hmm. The KBN mm -hmm. only went 5 to 1. 5 right? to 1 on the whole yeah. KBN series. So we're up to twice as good as that. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. well, made in America. You got to like that. Yep. 